This is Bunny Jo and her daughter Camille. Bunny Jo is a very old cat. We're not sure how old she is. She's my relative's cat. My relative has five very elderly cats. Bunny Jo was a fat little bowling ball of a cat. And then uh, she started to lose weight and start getting very skinny. And we took her in and it found, found out she's got, like many older cats, a thyroid condition. So she is on half a tablet here of methamazole. Um, it's about a two and a half milligram dose once a day to keep her thyroid in check. And all I do with the pill, and some people say don't smash it, but our vet said we can smash it. Um, just crush it with a knife. You want to get every little bit. You don't want to miss any. And then I take a tiny bit of a food she likes. And I'm going to, I have to put the camera down, but I'm going to put the under here. And I'm just going to sweep that onto the food. Let me just do that real fast. You really want to scrape it to get everything onto the food. And then I just fold the food, this wet food, over to kind of hide that. Okay, Bunny Joe. And make sure no other cats get at it. But she'll have to eat that up. And Camille, you can't eat it. So I sit and watch while Bunny Joe finishes it. No. You can also put your cat in a spare room or a bathroom. So I want to make sure she gets this whole dose. Camille, she's a very pretty cat. She's old too. Okay, we're going to let Bunny Joe eat that and I'm going to get Camille out of here. Bunny Jo is so old, she had a lot of bad teeth that had to be pulled. But like I said, uh, all her life she was like a little fat bowling ball, and then she started losing weight. Now I've talked about in videos what you should have on hand for rabbits for emergency situations, but here's something you should have on hand for cats especially if you have old cats, elderly cats. This is a lactated ringer solution. And what it is, is kind of like a plasma, you know, in the hospital. They might give you whole blood or they might give you plasma. Well, this is not plasma, but it's uh, it has some components that you need. So, one of the cats here is very old, probably even older than Bunny Jo, and uh, she gets these episodes where she quits eating. Now, I'm going to put this Ringer Solution into some really warm water. This is just hot tap water. You don't want to use boiling water, but just hot, really hot water from the tap, and you want to heat up the whole thing. She's going to get a dose of this because she's been going through an episode of not eating. I put the whole <clears throat> the whole line in, but I don't put the needle in, of course. Okay, that's a fresh needle on there. So let me let that sit for a little while, and then I'm going to show you what I've been doing for her. This is her favorite chair, you can tell, because it's all covered in cat hair. I don't think she's still feeling so good. We don't know how old she is. They did blood work at the vet, they did urinalysis at the vet, and they came up everything normal. She can be fine for months and months, and then suddenly she stops eating and she just sits. So, you know, it could be some kind of cancer. They're not going to be able to uh, find necessarily cancer um, on routine blood work and routine uh, tests. And if it was cancer, there's really nothing i found in my experience that you can do with an older cat that has cancer. You're not going to, she's camera shy. Hello, sweetie. We don't know how old she is.
I'm also going to be feeding her, hand feeding her, because she doesn't want to eat. And I found um, you can get AD food at the vet, but I found this also works. This is a Fancy Feast kitten food, and the food is very, very uh, good at going through a feeding syringe like this. Regular, regular cat food out of a can really is kind of chunkier doesn't flow through. This is ground up very finely. So I'm just going to put it in here and heat it up a little. I fed her some yesterday so let's get that heated up so it's nice and warm. You don't want to give a sick cat uh, cold. Alright so we're going to feed Zoe some food, give her a pill and then give her uh, 150 units of uh, ringer solution. To give ringers, you need to have a place where you can hang the bag up high on a hook or on, a, on anything. You know, you can use a clothes hanger and then hook it over a curtain rod or whatever you can do. So it gets up high so that it flows really well. And then here's the food. I started filling the syringe with this uh, kitten food. And I'm going to fill that all the way up with a spoon and have it ready. If the plunger doesn't uh, slide smoothly in the syringe. I usually just dip my finger in a little bit of cooking oil and just put a little cooking oil, very little, around the plunger to make it slide better. You can see how easily that comes out. And that's because it's the kitten food again. Regular cat food, uh, it just doesn't go through these little openings. The other option is uh, buy a can, a couple cans of AD food for cats at the vet because that stuff also is ground so fine that it'll fit right through the nozzle on the syringe. Well dealing with elderly cats is never fun. Just like dealing with elderly people is not fun either, I'll tell you that. But uh, the first thing I'm going to do is give her her pill. So I just got a little food on it. and You want to get it Way down the back of her throat, and then have a towel on your lap. You can wipe your fingers off. Check in her mouth. Make sure it went down. Cats are really good at keeping the pill in the corners of their mouths and then spitting it out later. Okay, the ringers. Every time you use ringers, you want to immediately put a fresh needle on right after you're done using it. Not before you use it the next time. Because you want to keep bacteria from going up this line. Okay, so this is a needle that I put on the last time that I gave her the ringers. Now to give the ringers, you just have to make a tent. And if a cat's dehydrated, it might be a little hard. You have to make sure that this needle goes in and it doesn't pop out somewhere else. Let's see if I, she's so old that it's... Okay, I'm putting it right in. You have to make sure it's not popping through some other part of their skin. I'm going to turn it on and pinch the, pinch the line because it might be cinched. Okay, now if it's going, you should see it dripping at the top. Let me look up there and see if it's dripping. And I don't see it going. Now this is a problem with older cats as well. I'm going to pull it out and see if it's running. That's running, alright. Okay, now sometimes you put it through the skin and their skin is so uh, sinewy, you could call it, that it clogs the end of the needle. Let's try it again. So I'm just taking it out. Sorry Zoe. Okay now it's going and you should start to feel a lump as that liquid's going in. You should start feeling a lump under their skin that feels like jello. Okay it's filling up under the skin and I'm going to look at that and it's at uh, three so we're going to go down to four and a half on this. Now if you have someone else around to help you do this, it's a good thing too because they can watch. When it's up so high, sometimes it's hard to see. 
how much you're giving. And you should ask your vet, but you don't want to give too much. Give 150, maybe 200. But that's about it. Um, so for severely dehydrated cats, you want to give them more, but you don't want to give it all at one time. Okay, so we're just going to sit here and let that let that fill up under her skin. Okay, we're done here. She's got a really big lump under her skin. And I'm just going to close this needle up. But I'm going to go change this needle immediately after I'm done feeding her. Okay, so let's try this. Now, I said she's an elderly cat. I don't know how old. My relatives had her for 10 years. Okay, let's do it a little bit at a time. Mm-hmm. You don't want to go too fast because they'll vomit. And you want to give them a little chance to uh, swallow it before you give them the next little portion. And you're squirting it in the side of their mouth in the back and then close their mouth with your hand. And they're going to get some out with their tongue, of course. That's why we have the, the towel here. I'm going to try to give her about two syringes full here. Yeah, I know. Isn't it terrible, Zoe? It's terrible to be old, isn't it? Now, if a cat just quits eating and doesn't want to eat at all despite everything you're trying, and they've been to the vet, I'm not going to keep force-feeding a cat every day. Obviously, there's something very wrong. I'm going to fill up another syringe. So what I want to do is feed her today. Tomorrow I'm going to, uh, if she doesn't start eating on her own, I'm going to call the vet right when they open and get her in for an emergency appointment. And, so, and like I said, she was into the vet just a couple months ago, and they didn't find anything wrong with her. They did blood work, they did a urinalysis, they felt her around, they couldn't find anything wrong with her. Here we go with the second syringe full, and that's going to be about a half a can of food. So I don't want to do more than that, so I'm going to squirt a little in. And like I said, you really need to give them a little time to swallow it. If you keep pumping it into their mouth like that, they're just going to vomit it all up. Okay, she needs, like every everybody, you need, can't just, you can't just keep eating food, right, Zoe? You have to have a little time in between. To let it get down to your tummy, right? It's Miss Zoe. And now, this is the third day that she's not been feeling so hot. So I said, if this doesn't, uh, if this doesn't improve by evening, then tomorrow I have to take her into the vet. But because she's prone to these episodes, and she's had these episodes a couple times, and they never find anything wrong, except that she's just a very elderly cat. girl. I kind of discovered this by accident that this uh, kitten food, this I don't know if it's all kitten foods, but this Fancy Feast kitten food works really well in these syringes. And I used to have such a trouble with the other canned cat food. If I didn't have that special AD food, the other canned cat food just will not make it through this. I even cut off the end a little bit to make the opening bigger, but it just will not go through. So get a little can of a uh, kitten fancy feast and uh, keep it around keep it in your refrigerator as an emergency um, feeding how you doing Zoe oh, one more two more of these let's give you another one that pretty much was all of it how's that she came from a trailer park where there was a colony of wild feral cats living and one of the ladies in one of the trailers caught this cat when she was a kitten picked her up and brought her inside and had her so we don't know how old she was because the the woman got dementia later on uh, which is why the shelter ended up with the cat because the family didn't want the cat and she had never been uh, she had never been spayed she probably was at least five or six years old so Zoe's got to be over, probably over 16 years old or about 16 years old. But she's such a skinny cat. She's never, 
put on weight. She w went into the vet. She had, you know, fecal done. They, nothing wrong with her, but such a tiny, skinny little cat. She looks bigger because she has long hair. I'm just kind of sitting here with her for a little bit, let her food settle. I highly suggest you do this on a floor where there's no carpeting so that you can clean up any mess. She's a pretty little cat. Kind of spooky looking, huh? Yeah. I started with cats, uh, with the animal, call it animal, private animal rescue. Uh, it's just basically me and all these animals at our old house where we lived over 20 years ago. People would just dump cats out by the highway. And these were house cats too. All of them were starving. There was one that was even declawed. I'd try to find, like, look back in the newspapers. I'd actually go down to the downtown library and look at the microfilm, trying to see if someone had lost a cat. I'd look back for a year's time in the lost ads. This is way before the Internet, of course. Um, but we ended up with some feral cats and some house cats that had been dumped. And uh, they did, they were not from some neighbors. Uh, we were out across from us was farm country. Uh, on our side there were houses, but these cats were all starving. They were all starving. They were all skinny and uh, very hungry. So I got used to taking care of cats. And I've been doing that for probably almost 30 years now. Okay, and remember the one last thing is to change the needle right away. So we're going to put a new needle on right away.